Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Landstack Channel ATC. Today, in this video, we are going to be seeing how you can use these custom programmable buttons in this TTGO ESP32 board. This is a TTGO board with ESP32 with an OLED built in, as you can see. Uh, today, we are going to be using Arduino IDE and Arduino SDK for programming this board, and we will be creating some uh, great graphics in the display to you know represent that we have pressed either of a button so let's get started so here is our ttg of dev mode as you can see so if you haven't watched my previous video in which i have installed few drivers and few libraries as well as installed the ttgo uh oled uh you know board library make sure to check that out because i have uh, fully set up this board with arduino ide so it's same for mac windows and linux so make sure to check that out before watching this video i'll be linking the previous video in my description now let me show you my screen now as you can see here uh i've opened arduino ide so this is the arduino ide one 8.19 as of this date so even this uh, uh, Arduino IDE 2.0 but I have noticed that it's a bit bit laggy and you know it's a little bit slow in order to upload in the code you know uh, compared to the Arduino IDE 1 now let's start by writing our code so to control these buttons so uh, these buttons are attached to a specific pin on the esp32 chip so one button is attached in the pin number zero and one button is attached in the pin number 35 so now we don't need any library special library to control these buttons we can just define it as usual in the word setup so write pin mode uh, zero comma input underscore pull up and we'll close it and we'll define another button pin mode uh, 35 comma input underscore pull up we'll close that as well and provide some spacing so now we have defined two of the buttons now let's uh, do some programming so let me just use serial monitor in order to display us uh, if uh, the button is pressed or not so let me just define serial monitor here to define it we'll write serial dot begin uh, 9600 the bound rate and then we will write some code so we'll write if serial sorry digital read uh let's just uh use first of all zero button the button which is connected to pin zero so we'll write zero equals to equals to double time uh, zero then we'll write serial dot print print line uh, let me just write button pressed button pressed so i for the double e and there we go we'll close the bracket and strings and there we go button press so uh now let me just uh, compile the code to verify there are no errors so let me just name it ttg uh, buttons and now it's compiling it okay we are having no errors as of now so let me just upload it then so let me just go to the tools board and let me just select the uh okay the the ttgo uh oled 
boat and let's go back to the tools again and just select the port as wc hits usb serial so this port is displaying because i've installed a driver so if you want to install the driver make sure you check my check out my previous video now let me just click on upload and uh after compiling it should upload it to the ttg abode so as you can see ttg display sitting right there and okay now it's uploading as you can see it's writing at okay there we go and now let's open the serial monitor on our Arduino IDE so let's uh, change okay it's there now let me just press a button okay okay so if you see here when I press this button let me just show you so this is the button connected to the pin number 0 of the ESP32 so this button if I press the button let me just show you my screen now now if I press this button as you can see it says button pressed now if i just clear the output and let me just press the button here as you can see it says button pressed now let us uh, try the another button so this uh, button is connected uh, to the pin zero this is the pin zero button and this is the pin number 35 button now let me just go back let me write else else if no let me write digital read uh 35 equals to zero then we will uh print serial dot print let me write button two pressed and here button one pressed now uh okay let me write else zero dot print len let me just print if uh, any button is not being pressed let me just put, uh, print some dots now let me upload it to the boat and okay as you can see it's uploading it to the board and it has successfully uploaded now let me open the serial monitor as you can see it's showing dot 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 because we haven't pressed any buttons yet but if i press button one as you can see it says button one pressed and if i press button two it says button two pressed so yeah so that was the basic explanation how you can use these buttons now let us use these buttons and the display to create something useful or something uh you know fun so uh my idea is uh so for example if i press this button the display should go uh for example green and if i press this button the display should go black again so now let's move back to my screen and we'll uh, make some changes to the code so first of all i'll include the tft espr library so if you don't know how to install it make sure you check out my vi previous video include tft underscore espi dot h and there we go now let me just define my tft lcd tft underscore ESPI. So, yeah, so as you can see, I successfully defined my uh, LCD, then built an LCD on the TTG uh, board, and let's compile it again. So, let us make sure that there is no errors. So, as you can see, the uh, compilation is done without any errors. Now, let's go back to our code and make some changes so after serial.begin we'll write uh, tft dot begin oh sorry tft in it so you should not write uh, begin we should write in it 
So if you write begin, it might cause some problems in the library. So you should write in it instead of begin. Now we'll what we'll do is um, on startup we want to write tft dot uh, fill screen. Uh, let's write uh, tft underscore black. So we want to make sure that on startup of the program or the on startup of the TFT, uh, sorry TFT, on the TTD board we want the screen to be filled out black. Now next up, uh, we'll just copy this line and paste it here. So as I said, if I want uh, this button to be pressed, I want the screen to be uh, color green. So this uh, button is connected to the pin number zero and this uh, button is connected to the pin number 35. Now let me just go back to my code and just paste it. So TFT underscore black, oh, sorry for that already pasted it now um, so here I'll write TFT underscore green and yeah that's it now let's go ahead and upload it so as you can see it's now uploading and it has done uploading so if you see from the natural uh, human eye in front of this camera uh, the screen should uh, lit up a little bit. So now if I press this button as you can see the screen gro uh, Goes to the color green and if I press this button it should go black Okay, there we go. It goes black so you can create amazing games or some other things if you want So our code is here successfully working. I'll be linking uh, down in the description so you uh, you can go ahead and download them and make your own cool things so I'll be uploading this to the github so don't worry you don't need to write this from scratch you can just upload it and test it on your TTG uh, boat so that's it thank you thanks for watching and make sure you like share and subscribe if you like the video see you next time bye